Greetings everyone and today I make the second episode in the game War in the Pacific Admirals Edition and now my match with Jochen, Jochen the allied player <coughs> for me it is the Empire of Japan and now we joining and checking the 3rd January 1942 turn and see if there is any surprise for me or a surprise, a good or bad, for Jochen. I normally expect nothing. Only standard <coughs> air war in China. I really don't know if there's... And submarines, of course. Submarines can always attack. That is possible. Okay, slowly, slowly, the nearby dots and bases are shifting the ownership. Okay, again an American submarine. Luckily again, no hit or no explosion. Every six months so far, I know the the torpedo uh, increased by twenty percent, I think. But we are here in deep water, so I expect here also nothing on my side. This is a mini Dutch one point or two point uh, AVP. So if I sink it or not, it's have normally no impact. But it looks like that uh, some of uh, Jochen's Dutch cargo ships are still in the area. And by purely luck, one of my submarines was just there crossing the street. Or trying to sur uh, coming around uh, Sumatra. Yeah. My submarine still fighting with this uh, rotation damage, but it's more or less uh, very stable. The crew fix two three points, then there's a flotation damage, then uh, increase two three points. So it's always stable around seventy five. So, no real sub war, no navy warfare. I detect here some forces east of Hawaii, but my submarines are still really not uh, very successful in this uh, attempt to. Uh, Cripple uh, supply lines from Hawaii to the west coast of America. And I sweep a little, but I find nothing. Also, I try to, yeah. Uh, lure out the Cap fighters of Soabaya, but it, it looks like uh, you don't want to. I bombard now here this uh, airfield of uh, Batan. Not really much damage, but I can kill maybe some supplies. And I normally only want to make sure because. I've, I think the last turn I saw here are uh, some airplanes on the ground, so I try to attack this airfield uh, and damage this if the airplanes are still on the ground. Uh, yeah. 
recon information, I always want to turn old, so it's uh, mm, it's can if the allied player move out his uh, airplanes and yeah, you always attack an empty airbase. But this is related because uh, you always give the commands for the next day. You don't give the commands for the same day, so there is a delay between command and execution. A lot of effort and uh, only small gain. Ooh, one of my lilies get uh, direct hit, but it's the same. There, so there are some fighters on the ground. But this is the first time I hit. So I kill one fighter on the ground, but the flag kill my bomber. Not of course a good ratio. But I force, I think this uh, airstrikes uh, force uh, Jochen to call out any air force he has left there uh, and make it very dangerous to uh, bring back units. This is also now an airstrike. Oh, I mean, a bombardment on enemy airport. I saw here some uh, airplanes operating from Changsha. Changsha is, I think, the biggest and best uh, air base for the National Chinese Army in this area. So it makes sense to attack it. And I can damage his uh, lightnings and also the fortresses. And both of them. Even if they only damage, they're super hard to repair. The Ford, the B-70s have a maintenance skill level of four. What? Yeah, it means they are, because this uh, engine have uh, this airframe have uh, four engines, and it uh, need four times the maintenance time than a one a single engine airplane normally. The Lightning have a. Uh, I think it was also maintenance of four because they're using uh, high power engines and then I think they count double more or less. So at the end, both of these airframes are very, very maintenance uh, intensive. So uh, even if I only damage them, they can be maybe out of war now for one week or And my prediction was right that you don't have some air force in Changsha. And with my attacks on Changsha airport, I make it very risky for him to operate airframes or airplanes out of the space. Of course he can maybe try to battle now the air. Changsha is maybe the best location for him. But still, it's only Chinese air force. Or American Chinese air force. problem is I don't have really any heavy bombers or at least medium bombers in this area. But again, two more lightnings and I c even can kill one lightning at, on the ground is the best. The airbase itself took nearly no damage. Yeah. And I bring... I, I was able... because it was all very likely for me that uh, Jochen will try to now slow down my forces. So I create a smaller subunit of zero fighters and task them with a uh, long range uh, cap. But if you do this, uh, it only 30% of the number of airplanes you command to make long range cap will intercept. 
Uh, and no airframe can no really fly non-stop in a hex if it's not at the same base. So if uh, then it will be normal cap. Then it will normally simply uh, be ready for takeoff. And if the alarm message is coming, then they take off. But these airframes are in long range cap, so they're flying from Kaifeng to do the location and then uh, cycling and turning around and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. If the fuel is out, they return to base. And the game simulates this with only one third of the airplanes can intercept the enemy attack. Makes sense. Because more or less, I think the game simulates this. One third of the airframes are on the way, one third is on the way returning, and one third is in the spot. So, and I was able to at least damage this. And maybe also kill two of this A29. So this will again is a blow against the uh, Jochen, his uh, bomber force in China. I only can bring here one Tojo, and this is maybe not enough. A little unluckily that my Tojo gets here damaged by enemy fire. Really impossible. But I can kill one bomber. This is okay already. Now maybe it's better to return, yeah. Okay, so the Tojo must return. Too much uh, small damage. I suffer small losses here. This is a. Uh, I, I expected this more or less, but uh, I mean sooner or later, not this turn maybe, but I had this uh, feeling that it will, this will happen. Takao is simply a very important base, and there's a lot of shipping going on in the beginning of the war. But uh, simply by the limitation of. Uh, of industry output, I cannot have everywhere my first class Oscar airframe. So and so, I choose that Takao is only a secondary uh, location. It's not front line. Normally, only B-17s can attack this uh, port now. And uh, I'm not even sure if this is normal attack or long range attack now. So I only have the nades here, and of course a nade is simply too slow, and only two light machine guns, and light machine guns can normally not penetrate armor, so uh, this will normally not work, but it's maybe give a little trouble on the fortresses here, and uh, maybe mess up their formation. And, uh, Jochen make here a port strike. The only good thing is so far I know is that Takao have some uh, flag. And one of my sub chasers gets killed. Okay, but this is a one point ship. So one nade gets killed. And uh, I lost a one point sub chaser, but this is an assistant, this is not really the good one. I only care the CH. Not the CHA, and the rest gets damaged, but I must repair, uh, repair it. But it's okay. So no, it's still a normal, normal range attack. Okay, so I don't know where it's come from. Hard to say. If one of these B-17s will crash. Then I would say then the damage is equal. I will normally don't care this uh, nade airframes, even if I lose now these three or four airframes, I only would care the pilots. And these are also not the best pilots, these are normally only training pilots. They are just so so. They needing I think they need at least one more month's training to really be ready for duty. Active frontline duty.
Uh, yeah, this is a little unluckily. I was uh, hoping that I can uh, pass by without interception. And again, two Catalinas can create two torpedo hits on a very small destroyer. And uh, yeah, this is simply unluckily. These are destroyer minesweepers, so they are normally, I think, 800 ton ships. They are only escort ships normally. They, are, they have never frontline duty, but they are good escort ships. And I would normally only say it's unlikely that... I don't know how good the skills of these pilots are, but I think they're creating simply too many hits. The explosion rate is normal. The explosion rate is like 50%. So, like, we had two torpedo hits. And out, I mean, we have here now six torpedoes, and out of six torpedoes, two hits. Is this a very high hit chance for me? For but maybe this is our elite pilots. Who knows? A uh, little unlucky. But it's, I think, a three-point ship, so it's really only escort duty. And I have later on I will get so many escort ships. <coughs> if I can survive to summer 43, escort ships are not really more a big issue. The only good thing of this uh, minesweeper destroyers is that they can get uh, deep water uh, anti-submarine equipment early on. So I normally don't want to use them. But yeah, I And again, the Catalinas are back. I don't. Oh, I also don't know how many Catalinas are here. Very strange. So this attack was a failure. I mean, luckily or strangely. And this time, this time it was maybe lucky that I don't lose this scout cruiser. So, first a little unlucky, this time maybe a little lucky in the second attempt. After taking Markin, I go to Tarawa. Uh, Tarawa is maybe one of the last really good uh, locations uh, can take nearby. At some points, you can install an AV base there or airport uh, for scouting. Uh, nothing really super important. Okay, and this is now the first attack or, or the first battle of uh, Clarkfield. After I bring in everything what is possible uh, and prepare everything what is possible, now it's a purely if it's a lucky turn or it's an unlucky turn. All the forces are in a chain of command. They are all prepared, well supplied. So it's now purely if the defense is, uh, of the Americans can hold or not.
Yeah. This is all needs time. I cannot uh, speed up this. This is all we need to maximum speed for the laptop now. At the end, uh, the defense value of Jochen are okay because this is a triple defense area. I would say triple is exactly. The only problem is that uh, I was not able to bring my full force. From 36, I fall down on 26, so then it's uh, not a one to one. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, of course, my engineers they blow up the fort. Fort level three is the first fort level really matters. So level one or level two is no, we have no big impact. Uh, the losses is uh, mm, on my side higher. That for sure. I lost a lot of vehicles normally. The sixty destroyed vehicles are a little high. Uh, but this is also related because most of these Japanese tanks are light tanks, at least now, and they have nearly no armor. They're easy to kill with uh, American anti-tank uh, weapons. Uh, so I would say this is must accept. So engineers, not really gets many engineers get disabled. These are pioneers, not really engineers. So, but uh, overall, I have now higher losses. Yeah, for sure. But most of the stuff is only disabled, so it's a question uh, who can uh, ramp up and uh, bring these disabled units back uh, in active duty faster. And uh, if I, if Jochen can um, rebuild his fort level, then maybe next time we have a one to one. And if I can bring down the fort level to a one or to a zero, then maybe I am stronger in the future. But it was not a success, it was not a total, total failure, it was a, uh, I would say I can barely accept it. I'm not lucky and happy with this, but uh, these are some rough days for the Japanese Empire, but nothing really critical failed so far. And I can say that my guns are better than these Chinese guns. So, Tarawa is now also under Japanese control. The ally is trying to wipe out here my last resistance fighter. But these are Japanese, they will fight to the last guy. And uh, Jochen have here much more 5.5 to 1. But I can make out of this at least a 2 to 1. But I'm slowly dying here. But still I take some Chinese with me. And I can hold the line a little longer. 
every day I can hold this uh, line, uh, it will help me in Xi'an and other areas. And uh, yeah, stop Jochen to reinforce his main defense line. Say this. So end of turn. Yeah. Okay. So January fourth. A light turn. Nothing really important happened so far. Uh, air losses are maybe in favor for Japan. So I kill four Hudsons, but I also lost two Lilies. My. Uh, and everything else is lightly one of my nades gets killed okay but now operation losses one light bombers get killed well yeah, that is standard standard and i can kill one lightning and one p35 on the ground and uh, one of the russian bombers gets killed so six to seven airframe time is but uh, most of this uh, airframes for the allies are double engines and most of my uh, sim, uh, similar let's say this. So out of the seven pilots, uh, five killed. Uh, unluckily, five killed pilots are uh, uh, hard to say. But of course, the flag kills this two, this three uh, normally are killed. Okay, that is for sure. And then two more. Who knows? Maybe the Nate pilot gets killed. We can check. Check, check, check. Where is... Here. So, check. Pilots. 40, 40, 20. I had them. And we had one killed pilot, yes. So, the, in this last turn, one pilot gets killed. And this is the first dead per pilot for this squadron. And also one airframe gets killed. And many sevens are damaged. So, yeah, they will have damage. Need time to repair. Okay, but uh, these pilots are really nothing really good. They they have only some instruction guys and they're training up, training up, training up. They're not shitty. They have an average of 60 skill level, but only 50 in defense. But for normally for intercepting of uh, bombers, I think only important is the air. This is normally only for dogfight. So, but a nade is of course... Uh, no airplane. I think the problem really of this nade is I only can fly 292. But if we check uh, the speed of a B-17E, uh, B-17E, then they have a speed of 317. So this bomber is faster than the fighter. And uh, they are protected. So no way. But we have a service rating of 4. And then we can check the P-38E. A P. P-38. P uh, it's the E model. So, and they have also service rain, ranking of 4. They have only two engines, but these are high power engines. So, I don't know how, but I mean, I also in reality, this airplane had a very high maintenance time. Because of these engines. The engine produce a lot of power. But because they are producing so much power. They are hard to maintenance. And need a lot of uh, changing of parts all the time. Still a good airplane. But uh, 
uh, it's uh, if they cannot fly, if they only are on the ground and uh, need to repair, then uh, the best airplane is uh, useless. Good. So in the uh, ship losses, this was a little unluckily. I mean, well, can happen. Not last month, last turn. So I lost one of my destroyer minesweepers. Here you can see they have a tonnage of 800, and they are really only escort ships. So now they are also shitty, now they have no value, but you can upgrade them and then they're getting better. This is this Dutch uh, AVP. Uh, ah, but also a, a shitty ship. And this is this uh, Sub Hunter. A high number, but uh, shitty equipment and only for shallow water. Yeah. So Navy, nearly nothing. And uh, land forces, so my forces uh, had gets a beating here. Uh, most of the units are now only in disabled mode, so they can still defend, but they cannot attack more. But I normally don't want to attack. And uh, I had here fort level two, and now I'm down to a fort level one. So I need some days to dig out the fort again, and then, yeah. But sooner or later, I will here uh, have a trouble. I have the 13th headquarter HQ coming with road down and trying to come in range, because this forces I think they belong. Oh no, they belong to 23rd Army. Okay, and 23rd Army is here. Uh, but unluckily, they have only a range of one, so it's just outside of range. And if I move now here, then it's dangerous. So. Yeah, I I keep and use these forces to shield to shield here and shield here, so that the Chinese is not breaking down and support here and the source on the center. I have here some more attack value, six hundred. The question is, I, if I'm coming, I can try to move here down, but I think I will to be too slow for this. And if I do this, I must cross the river. Then I'll be in a shock attack, or I try to reinforce here. Uh, and uh, per, yeah, make sure that this road is blocked forever. I will see what I do. Yes, nothing really happened. The first tank forces are uh, arriving. Here are eight for uh, block forces from the Chinese army. And the rest of my army is moving up. And more is moving up here. And we're still moving here down. So, nothing really changed in China. The move on Singapore begun. So, now I make one turn move mode, 23. So, I must change now to combat mode, because if I stay in move mode and then I cross, then I have the wrong formation or operational mode. This is too risky. So, I will change to combat mode, but this means I must now walk two turns in combat mode to cross the... The river so next turn we will not cross the river so we will arrive at 6 January normally latest 7th uh, nothing else here here is some task force and my submarine is here maybe I can attack it but I don't know it's three ships whatever this is these are my submarines I call back and also my carriers but my carrier uh, I try to lure out here the I'm very low on fuel. Uh, I try to yeah, sweep Sorbaya, but Jochen grounded his air force. Uh, but I know that there are a lot of fighters, so I don't attack the port now. And I, at the same time, I try to lure out uh, Jochen, his uh, navy bombers, to attack my carrier. Then I can kill them. But he also don't want to come out. He's a... Uh, not a really a warrior, only hiding. Uh, here I come maybe, I was thinking that maybe Jochen took out his uh, Catalinas, but looks like not, and now I have a little problem that I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a little close, and I have normally no really a possibility to run away, so the only thing what I can do is now, I try can, I can try to go on max speed, full speed 
And then I will make normally 10 hexes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But then I'm still in range of Catalinas. But I can, o I can also go Source. But normally the Catalinas have a range of, I think, 14. So anyway, where if I don't go here in the Source West or North West, I will be always in range. Uh, so I... I only try to speed up and escape. This forces me be faster. Here I can more hexes. But this is uh, simply because they are only uh, at 1920. Ah, yeah. I can split this up, but it also make no sense. So I can only make maximum speed of 5. And this twice, so 10 hexes. Uh, we will see how this play out. Okay, the subs here in America finding nothing. Here is this mini sub uh, always trying to return with crippled now at 76. But it's always between 70 the minimum and 80 is the maximum and it's always changing. So far it's survived. So ah, yeah, and now. So I'm still here, I make here, I think I, I was maybe last one here, and I w walk in this direction, with normal speed, and now I'm maybe in range to go for sp full speed, because uh, I have here still no detection, I have now two options, I can go full, uh, again normal speed and try to come maybe like in this position, and be just out of range, 14, 15 is maybe the range of the Catalinas. If I maybe stay here or here. And then I can jump in. Or I go now already jump in. I will think about this. Yeah, but every day I try my luck and uh, avoid uh, detection can also backfire. And if I once get detected, then of course Jochen will despair and uh, try to run away. So I must make this surprise attack. Uh, yeah. That is all for today. Ah, yeah, okay. Oh, the big stuff, I forgot. So the, the attack on Clark Field was not a success. I burn here some forces, you can see this armor unit, this tanks unit are uh, completely gets wiped out. And some other stuff here, this, this are NSL and F, so this is only, uh, both are only marines, they have only soft equipment, so they are not really important. Uh, they are easy to replace, not, uh, nothing great. And they have only, they are all completely burned out, but there was nothing. So. They have maybe a percentage, very low points now, uh, but it's, it's, it's have no really any impact. You can see the attack value is very low. So, and the, everything what have attack value starting from here is still at uh, 75 or higher. So, this is the first unit's uh, matters, and they are 50-50 or a little better. So, I need uh, maybe four or five days. Important is normally the, the fit. This uh, eruption must go less than 10% and fatigue must be less than 20%. Better is of course also fatigue less than 10%. Latest if I have less than 10% fatigue, I will attack again. Good. And this is the attack value. So I have still 3000 3, attack value, but I come from 3500, so I lost 400 attack value in this attack. Uh, I need uh, at least uh, 3300 again, and then we try again. Thank you all, take care, bye-bye.